Hello everyone, I'll be showing you step by step how you can start up a computer by using another computer within the same network. This is also called Wacom LAN or a shorter name for it, WAL. We will do this by using a patch file and a tool. After that I will show you how to start up multiple computers on your local network. The last thing I will show you is how you can start up multiple computers or one computer at a specific time by using Task Scheduler. First I will show you how you can enable Wacom LAN in the BIOS. The way you can get in the BIOS and where you can configure the Wacom LAN setting in your BIOS depends on your motherboard. I've got an Asus motherboard and I have to press F10 to get in BIOS. The settings for Wacom LAN are located at the tab Advanced. Now, when you're in the Advanced tab, you have to go to Onboard Device Configuration and then you'll have to enable Onboard LAN. If you've enabled this, you can press F10 or go to the tab Exit and choose Exit and Save Changes. The next thing we will do is check if Wacom LAN settings are enabled for your network card. First you go to Start and search for Device Manager. You click on this and then in Device Manager you click on the Network Adapters. When this is opened you right click on your Network Adapter and go to Properties. When in the Properties menu you will see many tabs and you will select Tab Advanced. Here you scroll down and select Wacom Magic Packet and you check if the value is enabled. If not, you enable this. The download link for the tool that we are about to use can be found in the description bar. I will now show you where you have to extract the tool to. We will extract the tool to document. I do this because later on, when we make our batch file, we will save it at the same folder as the tool. This makes it easier for us. Otherwise, when you save the batch file to another folder than the tool, you'll have to add some code to the batch file for targeting the tool at another location. Now you'll have to go to the computer that you want to start up by using Wacom LAN. When on the computer, you'll have to go to start and type in CMD or command prompt. After you've started this, you type in ipconfig slash all. Then you scroll up until you see Ethernet Adapter Local Area Connection. When you have this in front of you, you'll have to write down the physical address, your subnet mask and the IPv4 address. Now that we've got the information that we need, we can make a batch file on the computer that we will use to wake up the other computer. So you start up, type in Notepad. When this is opened, you type in WallCMD. Then you fill in the physical address, or also known as the MAC address. If you've done that, then you type in the IP address. After that, the subnet mask, and at last you type in the port number. The best thing is that you just write the number 9 at port number. Although you can use any existing port number for Wacom LAN, this one and number 7 are the most commonly used port numbers for Wacom LAN. You can also use the number 3389 that I've been using in this tutorial. The reason why I use this number is because I've been using a program before using this tool which had this number as standard port number and it worked perfectly. As I said, you can use any existing port number. Something extra. Most port numbers are mostly used for something specific, like 3389 is used for remote desktop, number 7 is used for echo protocol and number 9 is used as discard protocol. The echo protocol will cause a target computer to send back an identical copy of the data it received. The discard protocol will just as the name says, discard the sent data. So back to where we left. Now when you've typed this all, you'll have to save it to the same location as WallCMD. So add documents. You type in something like wake on LAN or wall, whatever you like, and behind the name you type .bat. When you've named it, you change the save as type to all files and you save it. Now, I will run the batch file and let you see what happens by adding pause to the batch file. You don't have to do this, this is just for debugging. After I show you what happens, I will run it without pause. I will show you really what happens when you run the batch file without it. You now see that the tool has used information from the batch file to send a magic packet to the target computer. I'll give some more information at the end of the video about magic packets, what they are and how they work. 
and now I will show you what happens when you run it without using the pause. You will just see the CMD pass by in a flash and just disappear again. And you will see also that my computer will start up. So now I'm going to show you how you can start up multiple computers at the same time. This is pretty easy to do. You just have to open Notepad again and do the same as you've done before. You type WoolCMD, then you type in a MAC address, the subnet mask and the port number of the target computer which you've acquired through the command ipconfig slash all in command prompt. You repeat this for every computer you want to start up through Wake Online. Just start a new line and start again with WoolCMD and so on. At the end you save your batch file and when you run it all the computers that you've added will start up. The last thing that I will show you is how you can start up one or multiple computers at a specific time. This can be done by Task Scheduler. So you go to Start and type in Task Scheduler. You run this and when this is open you click on Create a Task in the menu on the right. Now there will open a new window. You type in as name you type in as name Wake on LAN. Then as description starting up a target computer through Wake on LAN. After that you make sure that configure 4 is changed to Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2. Then you go to the tab Triggers. You press the button New. Here you can specify all the things that have to do with time, date and how many times. So there are three different things you can select. You can select the radio button for daily, weekly or monthly. I've chosen daily. So I've chosen also that it has to recur every five days. When you go to weekly, you can choose which day it has to run. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. And when you go to the tab monthly, you can choose which day of the month that it will run. So the 1st of January, the 2nd of February and so on. You can just choose the days. So this makes it pretty easy for you. Then at the top you can select the date and the time to start it. I've chosen today and I've added also a couple of minutes so that you can see that it will run the batch file. Be sure that the checkbox at the button enabled is checked. Now you can press OK. Next we go to the tab Actions. In this tab you will again press the button New. Then you press the button Browse and you go to the location where you saved the batch file. Normally this should be in Documents. You select it and press OK. Now you will copy everything in front of the name and paste it. In the text box Start In, optional. You do this because you only have to give up the name of the batch file in the program slash script text box. And the Start In text box has to contain the path to the location of the batch file. You can press OK and go to the tab Conditions. Here you can select the checkbox Start Only if the following network connection is available and then select your home network, since the batch file will only start up computers on your own network. Now you can go to the last tab. Here you can check the checkbox If the task fails, restart at every one minute. Should the task fail to run, then the task scheduler will try and run it again for three more times before stopping the task. Now you can press OK and you're done. So within a couple of seconds, you will see then the command prompt flashing by again, because the task scheduler ran the batch file. Now some extra information about how the target computer will be woken up. So waking up a computer to wake on LAN is done by sending a little pack of data, also called a magic packet. This magic packet contains a MAC address of a target computer. The tool that we use sends the magic packet to the right computer by using its IP address and subnet mask. When this packet reaches its target, the computer will read it and start up. This is only possible when part of the network interface card stays on. That's why you needed to enable Wake Online in the BIOS at the start of this tutorial. Thank you all for listening and I hope you liked it.